tapestry. Um, I got the idea of um, trying to figure out exactly the resonant frequency between the capacitor and L1, which is the outer coil. Um, these are hooked up as a tank circuit in Hendershot's schematic. Uh, so as a tank circuit, it should resonate. Uh, and um, um, I, I have this uh, shortwave radio that should be able to pick up uh, the frequency as a carrier wave. Um, the uh, one side of the tank I'm hooking up to sort of an antenna, which is sort of uh, this um, tinfoil plate I have above me. Um, and another, um, the other side of the coil is hooked up to ground. So this is standard radio stuff. Um, so I'm going to turn on the radio. I think I am. And, uh, oh, by the way, the, uh, the antenna of the radio is hooked up to the L2, which is, um, let me turn this down a little, which is the, uh, step, which is the coil underneath L1, and it sort of will step up the voltage, so this actually gives a nice kind of antenna boost here. Um, now, if you look at the signal strength, I don't know if that can be made out. Um, right around here, with this weird sort of atmospheric sound, uh, I get the highest uh, signal. And um, the uh, observation that could be made here, basically, is this coil capacitor arrangement uh, offers a very high Q, which is very good for an antenna. Um, I know these clip leads are the same color, but um, this one is the ground. If I remove the ground... And if I remove the antenna... It doesn't affect it too much. My antenna uh, contributes a little, but not as much. There's sort of an implicit antenna in here as well. So this is a... This is more, more than a coil capacitor. This is a coil capacitor antenna in one. Okay, this is, um, I've added the uh, multimeter um, into the circuit so that it's between the antenna and this coil. And we are me measuring AC voltage and we are measuring it about a one, about one volt. Um, so just directly from the antenna, we are picking up one volt. Or, or, or basically, this tank circuit is resonating all by itself, no supplied energy, providing one volt out to this antenna as, as sort of a carrier wave. Um, that's why it's easily detectable by a radio over here. Um, now, one volt isn't too exciting. You can get one volt with just copper and steel or, you know, with dissimilar metals. Um, however, uh, if I disconnect the ground, this should drop. And it does. Um, another... So, um, the ground is very important to add the energy. And uh, it's well known that you can get uh, a current from an antenna like this. Um, and now we are going to turn off the... Uh, oh, and also the voltage will vary all over the place, and depending on the um, ionosphere and other things. Now, when I turn off the fluorescent lights in the, 
in the room here, which are probably dampening the electron and proton energy in the room. Turn that off. Um, I have to go to night vision mode. The voltage goes way up. Well, not way up, but 1.3 volts. 